My first question for you is, what do you want out of life? Take a moment to think about that. What do you want out of life? What are a few words, maybe values, statements that come to mind? And maybe even write some of those down. And what do you want for your children's lives? And maybe you don't have children, maybe you don't have children yet, uh, maybe you already do. You know, what would you want for them to get out of their lives? All right, now that if you have a kind of a list of <clears throat> ex expectations, is maybe not the right word, but goals or aspirations or feelings or values. My next question is, what did you learn in school? And sort of the founder of positive psychology, a psychologist by the name of Martin Seligman, who was the president of the APA, the American Psychological Association, for a number of years and really helped to push for this movement. And he said, you know, part of the reason why my, a lot of my background's in positive psychology, he said that kind of for hundreds of years, psychology has been concerned with kind of this negativity bias of you know, looking at people who are kind of baseline or below, and how do we get all these people down here that are all messed up back to baseline? And that's super, super important work, don't get me wrong. But what he started to say is, what about the people who are you know, baseline and we wanna have them to be exceptional? Right? Or, you know, what's up with these people up here who are just flourishing? They seem to be having absolutely incredible lives. They're successful, they're content, they're happy, they're peaceful, they're whatever. We need to study that half of the equation as well as psychologists. And so anyway, this guy, Martin Seligman, kind of the f father of positive psychology, started a lot of his courses with that two-part question I just asked you. What do you want out of life? What do you want out of life for the people that you care most about? And then the second part, well, what did you learn in school? And for that first question, you probably said things like, uh, maybe happiness, I hope that's what you said in this course, right? But things like that, like, you know, I want them to, I want to be, uh, I want to be joyful. I want to have peace and ease. I want to be free. I want to be content. I want to be satisfied. I want to have a good life. I, like t tend to center around that. I want to have love, love. What did you learn in school? Algebra, right? uh, history, biology, Spanish, uh, what about, hey, maybe some engineering, maybe a little bit of finance and business, right? And it's not that those subjects aren't important. We absolutely should study them. But the point is, is there's a pretty major disconnect when we think about what we really want out of life and what we learn about in school and, and what we've been educated to look for. Because ultimately, what we want out of life, I think in our own words, and that's what in this video I'm gonna push you a little bit to understand, is that what we want out of life is happiness. But what we're taught in school and basically conditioned by society to kind of gravitate towards is basically how to become an employee which again, can be valuable, but that's what school is basically designed for. It's kind of this uh, industrial revolution era artifact of how do we mass produce a bunch of employees? It's not really asking, well, you know, how do we create a group of people that are really satisfied and emotionally intelligent and um, joyful and having fun? And right? so there's a pretty major disconnect. Uh, and that's what we're here to study. But I really want you to push, like I said, to uncover a common mistake. And that is to distinguish between what we really want, kind of the end goal, and what we think we want. Uh, because often when I ask people like, okay, well, what do you want out of life? It's like, oh, I, I got to uh, get my degree. I got to get the good job. I got to get the promotion. I got to get the wife and kids. I got to, uh, or, you know, husband and kids. I got to get the nice stuff. Well, what do you really want though? And what I kind of am arguing in this video is that I'm not anti-success or 
anti-having goals or anti-achievement is that we really need to understand what is it that we actually want. And what I say is I don't think we want the outcome. We want the feeling, right? So we don't necessarily want the success or the achievement, right? We want what we think that will bring us, which is joy or happiness or love. And the reason I make that distinction is because I, I think if you're not aware of that, we can overly attach to results and we make our happiness very conditional, very contingent. Right? So we say everything out here in the world around me has to match up perfectly with my expectations. And if it doesn't, I'm going to punish the world by being unhappy not very logical, but that's what we do, isn't it? There's a teacher who used to say, when it rains on your picnic, who feels upset, you or the rain? So what we're getting at here is that we need to understand that what we really want is this internal state that is related to external circumstances and achievement and things, but the mission ultimately is happiness. And so we should focus on that, even if it means, and this is where I'm gonna challenge you, even if it means maybe letting go of some of the conditions we're putting on our happiness. And there's a thought experiment that helps get at this from Michael Singer, who was the CEO of a massive health uh, software company, made billions of dollars, and he basically retired and picked up studying with yogis and spiritual teachers and wrote an incredible book called Untethered Soul, which I highly recommend. And in one of his talks, he says this example, okay, so, Imagine you just find this magic genie in a lamp. Will they live in lamps? Yeah, I was going to say a bottle, right? Genie in a lamp. And he says, you know, well, what do you want? What are your wishes? And so maybe you say, oh, I want this perfect marriage, or I just want my dream job. I want a million dollars. And the genie says, okay, I can give you any of those. I can give you all of them. Uh, But under one condition, and the condition is this, You can have all of those things, but you will never be able to experience happiness from them. I'm gonna shut off the part of your brain or whatever that, you know, you can have all these things, all the success, the dream job, the dream health, be a multimillionaire, uh, but you'll never actually experience happiness. Would you take it? Would you take that deal? No, of course not. And that, insight again is what I'm getting at here of distinguishing between you know what are the means to an end and what is the end in itself Aristotle the great philosopher actually said and this varies depending on the translation but most translations say something like this that happiness is the only goal that we pursue as an end in itself and not as a means to something else so success is not the same thing as happiness. And if you're in this course and you're following along with me, you're probably a little bit like me and you're probably an an achiever, maybe a little type A, maybe an overachiever. And I think we, to do this to ourselves sometimes, can be the most victimized by this mistake of mistaking success for happiness. In fact, what I'll say to you as we start to wrap up this video is this, that success without happiness is failure. Success without happiness is failure. It's the ultimate failure. So I wanna be very clear with you on this so you know why it's so important to prioritize your happiness and understand that that is what we really want and that is why we're here studying it. Okay, this course is not gonna be just about, you know, and don't get me wrong, and we'll talk about this in the course, happier people are more successful. They're more engaged, they're more creative, they're more effective. That, that little tidbit there comes from research by positive psychologist Sean Aker. And so this course will help you achieve things and be successful, but we need to have this foundation, this core belief and understanding that this is really about the end game, (laughs) the end goal, which is happiness. So I hope you enjoyed this video uh, on what do you really want? And that's it for now.